our identity, um, just a team that goes out there, has fun, We're competing every night, competing on the defensive end every night, playing unselfish. And I think that that'll be extremely contagious, not only just for our team, uh, but just for the energy in the garden, just for our fans, everything. I definitely feel a lot more confident and, and feel ready for this year. Felt like not only myself, but everybody on the team's put in a lot of work uh, this past summer to have a great year this year and can't wait to force to start. Through the good and the bad, you know, you gotta be a great leader. You know, regardless of how things are going for the team, how they're going for you, uh, frustrations or whatever it is, you gotta, you know, have your head up high and, and be a great leader for the guys in the locker room. And ultimately, the only thing for me that matters is winning. I just feel like because of the season we had last year, we didn't get to the playoffs, I feel like everybody has an edge to them now. And they know it's just not gonna be easy. We're not gonna just walk into the playoffs. We gotta work for it. We gotta scratch and claw every single second of the, of the time. So everybody's working every single day to achieve that goal. And I feel like we, we gotta get to the playoffs this year and we will. All right, last season, Julius Randle trying to improve on the field goal percentage this year, that is for sure. Obi averaged 20 per game over his last 10, has had some really great moments in the preseason, not so great tonight. And hopefully that left ankle uh, that knocked him out late in the game, hopefully that is not a significant injury. All right, everyone talks about this, the minute distribution at the position. And the one thing you can say about the acquisition of uh, Brunson, Randall hasn't had to do, do as much in the preseason. Right, and, and that's going to help him, of course, because he just has to focus on being a scorer, not setting up offense. But the minutes are, are still going to be tough to come by because Julius Randall's going to command minutes. I mean, last season he averaged 35 minutes a game. How do you see that number going down? Like, you know, he, the, the starters are going to play a lot. He's going to play a lot. Obi Toppin's going to play with the bench players, and it's up to Tom Thibodeau to figure out pockets of the game where he can get more minutes for Obi if it's an up and down game and Obi can get those easy baskets. But, you know, this is not going to be, hey, Obi's going to start averaging, you know, 25 to, to 30 yeah. minutes a night because. You have Julius Randle on this roster. Yeah, and Julius Randle, you know, he does a lot of other things when he's out there on the floor. He rebounds. He's a, he's a, he's a deep rebounder, especially defensively. And you need that type of guy out there to really secure the defensive boards. Uh, Obi's going to have to, you know, knock down that three-point shot when he gets it. That's get that percentage up. He shot 30.8 last year. Um, he's got to knock down those threes when he gets them and continue to come in and play with energy. Be electrifying, especially at home. Mm -hmm. Play with energy, run, put pressure on the defense. Do stuff like this. And it's just, yeah, exactly. And it's just unfortunate that they can't figure out a way to play together right. on the floor, together. I think there's games you can do it against teams that, that don't have a lot of size, mm -hmm. that might have to play small. You could get away with it sometimes. But it's not going to be that easy. This might be, of all the lineup, you know, machinations that you could have, this might be the most difficult one for Tibbs. Yeah. Because Obi at times, especially at home, can get you those momentum baskets. Right. We just saw a few of them yeah. that can get the crowd going, get your team going. But yet, Julius Randle was an all-star. Julius yeah. Randle's a very accomplished player, yeah. and you can't really take minutes away from him just to get another guy on the floor. This is gonna be a very difficult thing for Tibbs to deal with all season. I know, it's tough, it's a good problem to have. You have two guys at the power forward position that are gonna produce. They produced very well last year, um, and they gotta to continue to do it. The thing with Obi, if he could knock down that three, yes. then he could be on the floor with Randall. Right. So when Randall has the ball, you can't cheat off, mm -hmm. uh, uh, off, off you know, Obi's man and double team Randall. So he's gotta knock down that three, that will get him more minutes out there. People ask, why can't you just play them together? Why not? The two things. Rebounding, don't forget about the rebounding. That's where I was going. Okay. Rebounding, number one, it's very important. Tom Thibodeau, it's all he talks about is rebounding, and, and Obi is not a big time rebounder, especially on the defensive boards. The other one is rim protection. Those yeah. are two things that Tom Thibodeau values more than anything, rebounding and rim protection. And with those two guys on the floor, you really don't have either. You know, Obi's in a tough spot because his game is in transition, and that hurts him on the defensive end in terms of rebounding. So it's an interesting right. situation for Obi. Right. The strength Leaks of the game. On a lot of those, when, right. when he goes out to defend a three, he just leaks right out. Right. All right. All right. So that's something to definitely watch, obviously. The minute distribution between Randall and Obi as the season begins next week.